Ken seems to be really enjoying those poems. Yeah. She'd enjoy them a lot more if she knew who was writing them. Maybe the guy has a good reason for not telling you. Like what? Maybe he writes a lot better than he looks. Talks. Is. Yeah, maybe. Jim. Is this you? Sure. Is this you, Alex? <laughs> You're the one that's been writing these poems. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Okay, okay, I can't take this brow beating. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? What? Get over here. Jim, what's this all about? These poems sound like you're in love with Elaine. I'm in love with Elaine in the sense that I'm in love with all living things. You don't write poems to all living things. Yes, I do. You don't mail poems to all living things. Oh, yes, I do. You remember when Elaine came into the bar and she felt all down because she broke up with that guy named Steve? Yeah. So I said to myself, I know what'll pick that lady up. A nice poem. Yeah. So I went down to the library to look one up, but I couldn't find one. You couldn't find a poem? I couldn't find a library. <laughs> so I had to make up my own. So I sent it to her, and it took her mind off her troubles. Why don't you tell her she's dying to know? She only wants to know who wrote the poems because she doesn't know who wrote the poems. <laughs> you mean, if she found out that it was you, she'd be disappointed? A lot of people in this world who think I'm a flake. Who thinks that? Me for one. So what do you say we keep this between the two of us? Yeah, all right. Can't be so much harm if Elaine thinks she has a secret admirer. A shake on it. <laughs> I just shook on it. Oh, good. 